Hey guys. So, um, first off, I just want to apologize that this is being recorded on my webcam. Um, both of my cameras were dead, so this is my only other option. Um, besides that, <laughs> this is going to be my Foxy Locks extensions review. Um, <clears throat> a almost a year ago, I opened them with you guys, and I stated that I was going to make a full review after I'd worn them for a while, and now it's a few months shy of a year, and I decided I would make it. Um, I am wearing them right now. They're nice and long and thick and everything. And I have the black here in with it because I have my hair pulled to the side and stuff. But in case you were wondering why there's two colors there. Or why one side was longer. Um, so basically, um, I'm just going to kind of go over the information with them about them again. Uh, just so you guys kind of know. If you didn't watch my first video and stuff. So basically, the extensions were, extensions were bought from a website called Foxy Lux Extensions. And it's in the UK. Um, they are really good extensions actually. Um, they weren't super expensive. It cost me, let's see, I got the 120 gram pack which comes with 10 wefts of hair and that after taxes and shipping it came to $103 which is pretty reasonably priced compared to a lot of the extensions you can buy around here that are way more expensive besides Sally's. Sally's is another great place to get them but I wanted to go here because I heard they were really good. So I'm just gonna kind of go over, um, so I bought the 120 gram pack and the website states that there is two wefts of eight inch, two wefts of six inch, two wefts of four inch, and four wefts of two inch. And that they are 20 inches long. And when I open them in my video, I actually did measure them all to see if they measured up to what they said. And so the 2 8 inch actually ended up being 2 7 inch and it came with 4 clips. The 2 6 inch ended up being 2 5 and a half inch with 3 clips. The 2 4 inch were actually 2 3 and a half inch with 2 clips and the 4 2 inch actually were for one inch with one clip. So the length on those was a little, or the width on those was a little off. Um, they were a little short. However, the length was almost an inch longer than what the website stated. So that was also nice. So you kind of get some of it back in length, I guess. Um, one thing I really liked about the Foxy Lux extensions, um, I have two clips here. These ones haven't been touched besides these two little strips here. These. The blonde is their full blonde that they came. They have hardly even saw any heat at all. Um, so they are really nice and thick. I'll do one piece here. So this is one of the three and a half inch ones. Um, they're pretty thick for one piece. Um, they stayed nice length, like from top to bottom they stayed thick throughout until the very bottom but you don't want super thick there but they stayed a really good consistency thickness wise. So that was really good. Um, they are really soft and smooth even them for now almost a year. They stay pretty smooth feeling like the texture is really silky still. They feel like nice hair. Um, one thing that was good about these extensions is the clips. You always want to check when you buy the clips. So you have the clip here. And you want to open it up, and right here, there, this bar that goes out long, there should be a little silicone rubber that's on here, and these ones have it. And it's really good for them to have that because they'll hold in your hair better, they won't risk slipping out. And that's another good feature to have on your extensions. Um, they also came with one spare clip. I don't know if it was by accident or if they give you one, but it came with a spare clip, so that's always good. Um, the color I got was Bleach Blonde 613, in case you're wondering what color they were. Uh, it's not the lightest, but it is one of the lighter ones. Um, I got them in blonde so that way I could kind of do what I wanted with them without having to lighten them first. So um, I found blonde was the best idea to go with for if you're going to be changing the color often. Uh, it did come with lots of hair for the price that you pay. 10 pieces of hair for 103 bucks is pretty good, if you ask me. 
Shipping for these extensions, the website stated it would be two to two and a half weeks. For me, shipping to Central Canada, it only took uh, one week and two days, which was pretty awesome actually. I expected it to be longer, especially with like going overseas and duty and all that business, but it actually came in shorter time than they stated, so that was really good. The customer service was really good. If you had any questions, they usually answer them pretty thoroughly, so that was a good thing as well. Uh, they did come with a tracking number so you could see where they were. Uh, that's a really nice feature, especially when you're ordering stuff online. If they don't come with a tracking number, you're never sure, like, is this ever going to come? Did I get a fake website type of thing? Uh, they did come with a tracking number and it was all good. So this hair is 100% Remy human hair. Uh, Remy means that all the hair is, every strand is going in the same direction. So you don't get follicles on one end, ends at the other, vice versa, and they're all messed up. When you get ones like that, they get really tangly and matty really quickly. These ones are all going in the same order, and that is why they can be so silky smooth and last so long, because they are Remy. And you can find a lot with Remy, but you can also find a lot that aren't. So you want to check to see if they are Remy when you get extensions, because that's definitely something that you want, especially the human hair part. If you get synthetic, they're way more maintenance and they won't last as long and they will wreck faster. Now, like I said, these ones have basically not been touched. They're in really good condition, silky soft, really nice, all in all good. Now these ones on the other hand, they started off this color and now are this color. So basically what I've done is because my hair is two different colors, and it was when I got these. They have gone from blonde to... I put color in the tips of them with my food coloring video, which I also... I'll link below somewhere. Um, so I did the ends several times with food coloring and mousse. And the one side got dyed black. Then when I went all blonde, the black got bleached. And it specifically states on the website, do not bleach or bleach at your own risk. I was willing to do it because, I mean, yeah, they're human here, they should be able to take bleaching. I don't recommend bleaching these ones, um, or any for that matter. They, they could take it, but they definitely got dried out. They're gonna need like a hair mask type of deal. They got quite dried out from bleaching, which I know a lot of hair does. And especially since these don't get the nutrients that your real hair does. I don't recommend bleaching them if you don't have to. I did, I think once, um, yeah, I bleached the black side of once and used toner as well and I think a box dye of blonde to get them blonde again and I got them almost there, wore them for a while like that, then I got my asymmetrical cut like that. This side is short and this side is longer. And I decided then to go all blue with my hair. And then I didn't wear the extensions because I knew the blue I wasn't going to have for a super long time. So I didn't want to do the extensions more color and then change them and blah blah blah. So I left them. I didn't wear them for a couple months actually. And then when the blue started fading, I wanted to go back half and half. So I have now the half black here. And I have just, this is the blue faded out for several months. It's really greeny, sea foamy. The blue had a lot of green undertones. Um, so it's kind of sea foamy greeny now. Um, and I actually made the extensions to match because I wanted to wear them again. So they're kind of a sea foamy greeny, tealy, blue pastel color now too. And the black I got dyed black again. So the black side's pretty dried out because it's been bleached and box dyed and tonered for sure once each. And I wouldn't recommend it. And so, oh, also for the food coloring on the ends, they did get a little dried out. I know everyone's like, oh, you ruined your hair, you ruined your hair. Why would you ruin perfectly good extensions for doing this? It didn't ruin them at all, really. Like, it dried them out, but I mean, like, deep condition, and they're back to regular. It didn't- I didn't get any more split ends from it. They got a little dry. That's about the only damage that they got. So, that didn't really ruin them at all. If you want t very temporary hair color, 
Try the food coloring in mousse or food coloring in conditioner. Oh, another thing I wanted to address about them as well. The package on the extensions states that they are like silky smooth, straight, uh, like they won't frizz really and that they won't, they're tangle free. Um, I found these are actually very tangly. They get tangly very easily, especially um, when you have a lot bunched like this and you curl them. The curls actually slip out of them really easily and they tangle quite easily as well and they stay frizzy like you can see in this bundle here. I don't know if you can see, like you can see all here, like all those extra hair bits here that are here. That's what it does when it sits, it just sits and does this. And so they are, do get pretty frizzy and tangly and it's actually really hard to keep them down. And that's one thing I don't really care for about them. And for that main reason, I would only rate them like an 8 out of 10. They're still really good, that's why they have an 8, but that definitely put a downer in my books for that because I don't want them to be getting frizzy and tangly all the time. And that's one thing I found they definitely do is they definitely tangle. It is easy to get them out, but too, they lose a lot of hair when you brush them, especially when they do tangle. So you end up losing a lot of hair out of them. So for that, I would that's why I would rate them an 8 out of 10. So yeah, that's basically my ramble on my extensions. I wanted to get that review done for you guys. So that way I had one, I didn't forget. <laughs> and yeah, then you know, like Floxilux Extensions is a really good brand to go with. Um, and if you want something that's fairly cheap or you don't wanna go to Sally's or anything, they are actually a pretty good website to use. I definitely like the extensions. I'm not gonna stop wearing them just because they get tangly. That's just one feature about all the good ones that happen to come about so yeah but thanks for watching and i'll see you next time